hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited for this video you guys I feel like it's um, a little bit outside of my wheelhouse and a little bit inside my wheelhouse this is going to be a thrift store real-time haul I was challenged to do this video by Joe J O C dot Joe C and I will talk I'm gonna link her channel below but I'll talk about her a little bit later in the video and why I just adore her but um, she was also challenge to do this video by Jolanda365, which is another amazing channel that I watch, and I really like her too. I'll link her channel below. Anyway, she challenged me, and here's the challenge. You have $25. You don't have to spend $25, but you have a limit of $25. You go to the thrift store, and you are trying to find fashion pieces. If for some reason, you know, the odds are not in your favor via you know, Hunger Games or something, you can buy other things, household goods or books or whatever you choose. So I am not well versed in the thrift store realm. I've been there for like props for plays or things like that, but I've never really shopped. I don't really know the thrift stores in my area. So I'm enlisting a friend. I'm going to pick her up right now. I don't know if she'll be in the video or not, but She's a friend from church, and I'm not lying to you. Like, every Sunday, I'm like, that is the cutest purse. And she's like, $3 from the thrift store. The next week, I'll be like, those are the cutest shoes. $2 from the thrift store. <laughs> That's the best dress. Oh, $6 from the thrift store. I mean, for several years, I've been like, I really want you to take me shopping. And we just haven't made it happen. So I'm very excited to do this video, number one, because I think it's just fun. But number two, I get to spend a day with... A, a sweet friend and then we're gonna have lunch so stay tuned and let's see what I find in the thrift store this should be interesting okay guys I am back I had so much fun we went to three different thrift stores and I'm gonna show you what I got I had a budget of exactly $25 and I spent exactly $25 and I didn't even think that was gonna be possible but I spent exactly that amount of money and I'm gonna show you what I got so just in all fairness I am NOT a digger I don't like to go to Target or TJ Maxx or even like Macy's when they're having a sale because you have to dig through those racks and racks of clothing and I just don't love it to do that I wish I did because the people that can kind of sort through that are the ones that find the absolute best deals but I knew going in that this was gonna be a hard challenge for me because I'm not that person but I had some luck so before I left my husband um, I told him where I was going and he's like hey see if you can find me some like Sperry boat shoes he likes to slip those on and kind of putter in the yard and so I didn't really think I would find them in his size and the first store that I went to these are like brand new look at the bottoms they're like barely worn and they were nine dollars and 49 cents so he got a pair of shoes that first store, I kind of felt like it took me a minute to get my feet wet. I kind of figured out the lay of the land. They didn't really have a dressing room, but I didn't really see anything that I absolutely was dying for. So we went ahead and went to the second thrift store. At that thrift store, my friend actually found, I think, two picture frames and a pair of little pink kitten heels that were adorable and a little chickadee bird feeder that was brand new in the package. So then we went to the second one and we went to a really big Goodwill. You guys, this Goodwill was so crazy. Everybody was in there. I don't know if Tuesdays are like Goodwill delivery day or what, but it was crazy in there. It was big and bright and had dressing rooms and it was amazing. I didn't really find anything. I was kind of, I had some things in mind like some black jeans and a cream colored sweater because I did get the olive pants for my Transcend box but I didn't really like the sweater that they said it was just too short but I didn't really see anything in there I kind of piddled around through housewares and through books and I didn't really see anything there either and my friend said hey I'm gonna go check out take your time and um I, I just kind of decided I would meet her up front and while she was checking out there was a jewelry counter right in the front so I thought well let me just walk over there and I found this little necklace I don't know what drew me to it but I still really like it it was four dollars and 99 cents it's kind of an antique gold and the chain looks like this it's just got little like ball beads on it which I think adds a little texture and then it's just clear I think in camera it's going to really show the light let me see if I can there we go these beads are really just clear but they're picking up the light so pretty and they're just wired beads I don't, I don't know if you can really tell on camera but I just really thought it was pretty and I think with just like you know if I had a t-shirt and an olive green cardigan or something and throw this on 
with just jeans, I think it would dress it up without having to be dressed up. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know, for $4.99, I kind of liked it. So then we got in the car to go to the third store and I was like, okay, I gotta find some stuff. I have a video to do. <laughs> so I was really hoping that the third store was going to be the place. And so we went to somewhere called Value Village. Don't you love that name? I think it's so fun. And I was like, this is it, I can feel it, I can feel it. So I walked over to the books because they were kind of right in my direction. And you guys, I found a book, no lie, at least 12 years I've been wanting to read this book. And I don't know why I've never gotten it. I just feel like there's been other books that I've seen before that, before buying this one. And I found it on the shelf. It looks brand new. It looks like maybe it's only been read once. And it is the Francine Rivers Redeeming Love book. It is a, it's a Christian fiction book. And um, I've heard the story is just amazing. And I'm very excited to have that. It was $1.50. It has a little, it's a little bit right there. But otherwise, it looks like it maybe has been read once and then was sent to Goodwill. So I was excited for that. Then I, I kind of tried on a jacket, but it didn't fit. Um, they didn't have a dressing room in this place, which I think is hard f when you're shopping, but I mean, I guess I get it. They just use all their retail space for clothing. But I found this dress over in the dress section, and it was $8.49, and it is by the brand Bowden, which I do love their catalog, and it says made in Portugal. Um, Anyway, it is a little wrap dress. It's navy and white. It's kind of hard to see because this looks like it's really drapey, but it's not. It's just a really big wrap dress. And it's nice and long. I'll try it on for you and see. It is a size 10. I usually wear a size 8. However, um, we tried it on. I took this shirt off because I had like a little cami on underneath it. I took this shirt off and left my jeans on and it seemed to fit. It looked a little bit big through the hips, but my friend and I both decided we thought that it was because I had my jeans on under it. So I'm going to try it on for you and see what you think. But it was $8.49. So I thought, you know what, that is a great price and I'm going to, I'm going to try it and see. I feel like even if it's a little bit big because it's a wrap dress you can kind of tie it and I think get away with it because it senses cinches in your waist so that is my video I'm gonna show you this dress in just a minute but I want to talk about um, Joe C who tagged me you guys you got to go check her out if you haven't I think I mentioned her um, maybe in a video last week maybe she does a lot of unboxings for clothing she does like Dia and Co trunk club wantable I think she does Trendsend also. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure she does. Anyway, she's edgy and fun. And she's got this cool tattoo right here and she's this really cute short hair. And she's a little more analytical than I am. And her tone of voice is just very soothing to me. I feel like, do you know how sometimes you feel like you've, you're just walking through life with your, holding your breath a little bit? I feel like when I watch her videos, I like exhale because she, her voice is just so calming. She looks at the clothing a little bit different in terms of construction than I do, and I just really enjoy that. And she's also helped me a lot, like when I was having trouble with Wantable and like, I don't know why they're not sending me color. She emailed me, or she commented on one of my videos, she's like, they are sending you color, blush is a color. Um, you need to say you need vibrant color, vibrant jewel tones. Like she's so helpful and encouraging and she deserves all the subscribers. So definitely go check her out. And then Jolanda365, she's amazing too. I've been watching her for a while and um, she does these videos called Subby Sundays where she does subscription boxes. She sells Avon, which, so uh, she's a future, um, a kindred direct seller because you know I do 31 and she does this song at the beginning it's like subby Sunday subby subby Sunday you guys know it if you watch her I'm sure you do if you watch her just go over to her video and say Georgia Sunshine is singing your song <laughs> maybe she'll think that's funny I don't know imitation is a form of flattery right she's amazing and so sweet and I just love her outlook on life and um, I feel like she's been going through kind of a personal journey too and she talks a lot about her hair and dating and just life in general but anyway so now I'm going to tell you who I'm going to tag so Mandy from laugh love shop I am tagging you this is right in Mandy's wheelhouse because if you watch her videos she does a, a smorgasbord of videos she just had a brand new baby who 
just seeing pictures of her is making my ovaries hurt. Um, but she does a lot of videos, but I think the ones that I am the most attracted to are her fashion videos. Like in the spring, she did this whole spring trend series. And I feel like every time I was in a store, I would hear her in my head saying, Mandy said this is a trend, but she does a lot of thrift videos too. She'll be like, I just like, I think she just did a video the other day and she's like, you see these earrings I them for $2 at the thrift store and these are on trend right now. And then she had a pair of shoes that were adorable. So Mandy, I'm tagging you to do the thrift store challenge and I hope to see your video soon. And um, yeah, I think that's my video. Let me go try on this dress and show you and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have this dress on. I think now that I've taken the jeans off, it fits really, really well. I do need to put like a cream colored um, cami on underneath it because this is too glaring white. But I think into fall, all the way through spring, I'm gonna wear this dress. It's very soft, easy to wear, comfortable. And I really like it. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below on my thrift store haul. Also post below what your favorite thrift store item is. I challenge you guys to do a thrift store uh, little trip. And if you wanna show me what you got, that would be great. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi everybody, I am in the hockey parking lot. You know that's my favorite place to film, right? I was editing this video and realized that Dawson's thumb got in the way of the camera when he was filming me in the dress. So I do apologize for that. You know, good cameramen are really hard to find, especially when you're paying them zilch. Uh, anyway, I hope you'll give me grace. The light was a little funky too, but I think you could see the dress and I really like it. It's cute. So I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.